Hello and welcome to this week's Productivity Enhancer. This week we're going to take a look at the Feature Paint tool in SolidWorks. The Feature Paint tool is a really great tool in SolidWorks because it actually lets you paint the features attributes onto an existing feature. For our example, we have this hex housing here, this hexagonal housing, and you can see it has lots of different holes. It has a counterbore M5 hex, as well as these countersunk M6 flathead screws. So it seems kind of silly to have holes that accept two pretty different types of hardware when in reality the holes are pretty close in size and function. So let's say we want to change these countersunk holes to the Seabore M5. Well, all we'd have to do is go up to Tools, right on down to Feature Paint, and we get this Feature Paint task pane here that shows up. And you'll notice it does open up on the right side here instead of the Property Manager location that we're used to on the left side. And you can even see a little Feature Paint tab opens up. The reason for this is that we're not creating a brand new feature, we're just painting on the attributes or the design characteristics onto another feature. So a real slight difference but one to take note of. So if we take a look at our commands you can see that we have an apply button here that's grayed out. That's because we have nothing to apply yet. We can close it, you can get help from SolidWorks, and you can see that it's already pinned down right now. If you do want it to only last once you can unpin it, however we're just going to keep that pinned so it stays open. So we said that we want this counter bore M5 hex head here, so we're going to copy the properties from that specific feature. And if we want we can click on it and we can get our feature properties down here. That's all available for you. Automatically you can see that our paste appearance properties is selected. Having a check mark in this box is completely dependent on your design intent and if there is a specific appearance attribute that you want pasted you can have that checked but we're just going to deselect it right now. And in our paste properties 2 box we want all of the M6 holes so let's go ahead and select every single one. These were all made individually so we have to select them all. And again, if you do want to see the feature properties for each individual selection, you can cycle through it, but they should all be identical since they are the identical whole. But once you have all those selections made, you can hit apply. And then SolidWorks will copy all of the attributes from that counterbore M5 and update the holes to the correct size and type. You can see that all of these are changed to counterbore M5 hex. Another thing that we can do with the feature paint is to paint a feature from one part to a completely different part in a different file. And to show you how this is done, I have this other part here which is just a square housing. Let's go ahead and tile these vertically and just rearrange these a little bit better. So let's say for instance that these holes here have been decided upon to be the universal hole for both of these parts. Let's just make sure that these are cleared here. I think we have some data left over from before. So in the copy properties from, we're going to select these holes here, which is the countersunk M3 flathead screw. And you can see that our paste properties 2 box is already highlighted. So all we have to do is go in and select the holes that we want changed. So we can change all of these. Every single one of these M5 holes. And we can hit apply. And SolidWorks will take that M3 countersunk hole and paint it on all of those features. So just to clarify, although it is called Feature Paint, it is actually replacing those old features with the new ones. It's not just painting the appearance on top of old ones. So be aware that those features are updating and changing based on your Feature Paint selections. So let's clear this and say, okay, I have a one millimeter fillet here and I need this fillet to be on every single fillet of this part. Well, there's no surprises. We're going to copy the properties from that fillet. So make sure that the copy properties from box is selected. We're going to find the right fillet. I do believe it's fillet 2. And we're going to paste the properties of that fillet onto this fillet here in the same part as well as the fillet in a different part. So once we hit apply, you can see that both this fillet here, which was 2 millimeters, is now changed to 1 millimeter. And all the 5 millimeter fillets on the hex housing have changed to 1 millimeter fillets as well. So really powerful. It can change parts on two separate parts simultaneously. Well, what about patterns? Okay, no problem. We've got a four-hold pattern here, which is this circular pattern. And then we have circular pattern one on this part, which is a six-hold pattern. Well, let's go ahead and clear these selections now that we figured out what's what. We want to make this pattern have six holes. So all we have to do is copy properties from. We want circular pattern one. We want to paste properties to circular pattern two. Once again, we can paste appearance or not paste appearance. Our feature property is listed here once we have that selected. Yet we can hit apply and then all of a sudden we have six holes on this part. So as you can tell, Feature Paint is a really easy and quick way to do some quick modifications on the fly. 
The only thing that you really have to be aware of is that you cannot copy dissimilar features. Like say I want to copy circular pattern one onto fillet one of this part. When I hit apply, nothing happens because there's nothing to grab onto. However, that should probably go without saying, but just so you're aware, that is the one limitation. So thanks for watching this week's Productivity Enhancer. I hope it's been helpful. Until next time.